Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to only feature products that are created by makeup artists. And me personally, I love using products that are done by makeup artists because we just, you know, see products in a different way. And I, you know, wanted to feature products that I personally use all the time on myself and in my makeup kit. And let's jump right into the video. All right, I just applied my skincare. As you all know, I love to, you know, put on my serums and my moisturizers before I apply foundation or my makeup because everything just looks so much better on the skin. So the first product I'm really excited uh, to share with you guys, it's the foundation by the one and only Lisa Aldrich. I'm such a big fan of Lisa Aldrich. I just love everything she does. She has an amazing YouTube channel and I really am a big fan of her products. Uh, this is her new foundation and I actually like uh, using a very thin layer of that first and then I use my blender cover over it. And the way how I apply the Lisa Eldridge foundation is with my Monica Blender um, angled brush and I'm just picking up some of the product with my brush. I just picked up my little hand mirror and I'm literally just doing a very thin layer of this foundation. So what I like about this foundation is that you can really sheer it down or if you need to, you can make it look very full coverage. All right, next I'm gonna layer this foundation from Lisa with Monica Blender Beauty Blender Cover. I am using shade 3.5 and I'm applying it with my hybrid cream brush. And then this is what the texture looks like. And I'm literally just dipping my brush into blender cover. And I really love using this product by itself or over foundation. It layers beautiful over foundation as well. And since I already have, you know, a layer of foundation on, I'm just going to apply this in the T-zone and underneath my eyes where I need a little bit more coverage. All right, another makeup artist that I really admire and I'm really excited that he just came out with a line is the one and only Makeup by Mario. And I really, really love his uh, contour sticks. They're just wonderful. They come in so many great shades and I like that they're in a stick form. So they're really easy to use. And what I do with them is literally I just work out of the bullet like this and then I'm just gonna take the stick and I apply it you know where I would like to contour my face so I like to really bring out my cheeks a little bit more so I go underneath my cheek right in the hollows of my cheeks just like that and I'm also gonna bring it a little bit into the temple and a little bit into my forehead like that and I know this looks crazy right now. I'm gonna go in with my buffing brush and I'm literally just picking up the product with the buffer and I'm working the product into my skin. And this brush really works amazing for contouring because it has this wonderful angle to it. So you can really work the product beautiful into your skin. And I think the color is just so perfect. It's really important to choose the right color when you contour. And I really think that this color works just really perfectly for my skin tone. I'm also going to bring whatever is left into my jawline. Another amazing makeup artist who unfortunately has passed away, but I've always been such a big fan and he is someone I totally look up to the legendary Kevin Aquan. I am a huge fan of his entire, you know, career, his books, his makeup line is amazing. And there's really literally every single product I love of his. The one particular product I'm really drawn to at the moment that I've been consistently using every single day is his eyebrow pen. Um, I know that a lot of brands do have eyebrow pens. Um, for some reason, I really love this one because um, it has such a, such a beautiful fine tip. 
and the color is perfect for me and I also really love it because it doesn't dry out. A lot of those eyebrow pens, you know, you use them a couple of times and they dry out. This one is amazing. So I'm going to show you. I usually do a little bit of a shake and then I just fill in where um, I need a little bit more extra, you know, love in my brows. Today I'm keeping them really natural for this look because I'm doing a brighter lip so I don't want too much brow but I'm just gonna fill them in a little bit lightly. For my eye makeup I'm just gonna do a variation of my everyday eye makeup and for that I'm gonna start off with uh, Jillian Dempsey who is an amazing makeup artist based here in Los Angeles. She does so many big, big time celebrities. One of them is Kristen Stewart, and she also uh, is really well known for all her makeup products. One of them are her eye pencils, which I think if you ask any makeup artists, everyone loves that particular product. It's such a good eye pencil because what I love about them, they don't, uh, they don't smudge and they really stay on so well. So that is like a, uh, you know, a staple in my makeup kit. I use them on every single person and they come in like the best colors, like that it comes in this gorgeous chocolate brown, black, and just like the staple colors. And I love using this pencil in the inner rim of my eyes. So this is the chocolate brown color and I'm using it um, in the inner waterline of my eyes. So I'm just applying it like that. Make sure that it's sharpened. Just like that. And what that does is it just you know, makes your lash line look more dark without having like a harsh line on your eye. And that's something I do all the time because I don't like a lot of eye makeup and I just love when my lash line looks really rich and dark. And instead of using a black, I love using brown because it's softer. All right, another legendary makeup artist brand is the one and only Bobbi Brown. She's really the one who really pioneered, you know, the uh, makeup artists to come out with their own brands. And it's, uh, she's really the one who really started it all in the 90s. And she's someone I really look up to and I really admire what she has accomplished. And I love her products. So the product I'm using today is her um, long wear cream shadow stick. I like using them kind of like in the socket of my eye. You can also use them all over your eyes, but I almost like contour my eye with it. So I'm like really kind of like going into my socket, just like that. And then I'm also gonna apply it on the outer corner, just to create a little bit more shadow right in here. And I have deep set eyes, so as you can see, it's a little bit hard for me to get in there, but what I'm doing is I'm just creating more shape and I wanna like open up my eyes. So if I close it, you can see what this looks like. And now I'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna use my uh, Monica Blunder Tulip brush. This is a great brush for eyes as well. And I'm gonna go in and soften that shadow. You can also take the shadow stick and put it a little bit on your lower lash line. I'm doing it mainly on the outer corner, a third way in, not all the way in. And it's such a creamy formulation that they're so easy to apply. They're so like finger friendly, they're just awesome. All right, now to brighten my eyes a little bit, I'm gonna come in with another cream shadow, which is a product by Charlotte Tilbury. Um, she's another amazing makeup artist, a legendary makeup artist who has created such an empire, such an amazing makeup line. And uh, there are so many products that I adore from her and that I use 
all the time on myself and in my makeup kit. Um, I love her cream shadows. I love her pressed powders, her lipsticks. I mean, every single product is done so well. And uh, this particular cream shadow, I love. It has a little bit of a pinky, um, golden, like almost a rose gold undertone. And I like using that again with my tulip brush. And I'm just gonna apply that on my eyelid. I'm gonna go back in with my Chilean Dempsey liner, the chocolate brown, and I'm gonna just apply a very thin line on my upper lash line. And again, Chilean Dempsey not only has these liners, she has some amazing um, cheek products, um, a cream blush that I really adore. And I also really, really love, um, she has this face facial tool, I actually, I think I have it right here, which is this guy, which I love. I use that all the time on my clients when I do skincare prep. And I'm gonna just bring a little bit of that brown, I pull it out and upwards, just to give my eye a little bit of a lift. I'm just gonna take a thin dome brush, and I'm just gonna buff that liner into my eye makeup so it doesn't look so like a crisp line it's more of a smudged line all right for mascara i'm gonna share with you guys another brand that i really really love it's called kaja weiss and she is a european i think she's danish makeup artist and she came out with a very cool sustainable clean makeup line and I love the packaging of her products. I love uh, the ingredients. I love that it's clean and sustainable again and I really adore her mascara. I love that it is a refillable package which I haven't seen very often. It's very clever and this mascara is amazing. For a clean mascara, I love it. So I'm gonna apply that after I've just curled my lashes. I like to take my time when I'm doing mascara and I really like for it to dry for a second and then I go back in and do another layer. All right, now that my mascara is on, I'm gonna go back in with blender cover. I'm gonna use shade 3.5 and I'm just gonna go in again just to clean up if there is any fall down. And I feel like I need a little bit more underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with my hybrid cream brush and just clean that area up. Now I'm going to powder with my Charlotte Tilbury press powder. And I also wanna mention that Makeup by Mario came out with some really nice brushes. I particularly like this double-ended dual brush. I love using it for my press powder. So I'm just gonna powder underneath my eyes and in my T-zone. And now I'm gonna go back in with my uh, Kaja Weiss mascara. I'm gonna just put a little bit of that on my lower lashes. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna share with you guys my, I think my all-time favorite cream blush is by a brand called Stila. I think all of you guys know this brand. It was created in the early 90s by uh, a makeup artist called uh, Jan Janine Lobel. And I, I just always have loved Stila. I think they were so ahead of their time, especially uh, when it comes to packaging. Uh, I really loved all like the paper, very sustainable packaging for that time in the 90s. I loved the twisty lip gloss, the cream blushers. And I just remember when that uh, brand came out, I was just like so in love with it. And I remember always, you know, going to Barney's at that time and looking at it and I'm like, oh my God, maybe one day I can have my own brand. And so I've always admired this brand. I've always looked up at Janine for creating such a cool uh, brand that is still to this day, I think very, you know, relevant. I really think it's amazing when a brand can stay around for such a long time because it's such a busy space. So I'm using one of them today. I'm using this shade right in here and I'm using it with my uh, angled Call You Buff brush. 
and uh, I love this product because it's very like um, multifunctional you can use it on your cheeks and you can use it on your lips and I love how creamy they are and how easy they are to apply and they just give you such a wonderful pop of color and I love my uh, angled brush for this because you can really work the product into the skin and can really make it look very sort of like airbrushed and seamless and then you can always go back with the brush you have used for foundation if you feel like you used a little bit too much blush you can go in there and just go over it with your blender cover or whatever foundation you have used another amazing makeup artist a legendary makeup artist is pat mcgrath and i mean come on what she has created in the last couple of years a billion dollar company amazing products i love every single product of hers especially one of my favorites is her highlighting kit which is this product right here and i have this in my pro kit i have it in my personal makeup kit and I think it's one of the best highlighters on the market. You can use it for your eyes. I use it on my cheeks. I just love the colors. I'm gonna use those two shades and I'm gonna use them on my Real Techniques brush, which I also wanna mention that there are two amazing makeup artists, Sam and Nick, and I love their brushes as well. So go check out the Real Techniques brushes. And this particular one is, I have I think 50 of them. I use them all the time. All right, I'm gonna just apply my highlighter on top of my cream blush. You can also use that as a highlighter on your eyes. I'm gonna put it on my tulip brush and I'm gonna bring it a little bit in the inner corner of my eye. Okay, lastly, I'm using a lipstick by Patrick Ta. Patrick Ta is also a Los Angeles-based celebrity makeup artist, also influencer, and he came out with his own line also, I think a couple of years ago, and I really love his lipsticks. I love this particular shade. It's like this like corally orange color, and uh, he has, I think, a whole line now. He has lip glosses, he has brushes. Okay, what I love about this lipstick is the formulation. I like that it's matte, and uh, it, especially when you're using reds or oranges, I think it's really important that the formulation is right and not too shimmery and not too shiny. And I also wanna point out that I have a cold sore since a couple of days and I used to be so self-conscious about them. Um, it's something I've had since I'm a little kid. And I think what a lot of people don't know is that when you do get cold sores, um, you have a virus in your body that you know once you get them you get them for the rest of your life um, a good thing now is that uh, me as a makeup artist I used to be so embarrassed when I get them and I would have to go to work and they come out and I was like oh my god I can't go to work but the good thing now is that we are wearing masks and I can hide underneath them but especially when they come out um, I like to cover them a little bit so what I like to do is I put a little bit of blender cover over my lips and then I like to use a darker color or a red because it's easier to hide them so I'm going to just apply obviously this is my personal lipstick if you would you know work on a client with a cold sore you know don't work out of the bullet you know work with a palette but I'm just gonna apply it directly out of my bullet right here just like that and it's pretty bright this color but I feel like it really brightens up my face I love this color so much and then I like to go in back with my tulip brush which I cleaned a lot of people are asking me how they can use the tulip brush the way how I do you know when you use it on the eyes and then on the lips and on the skin you know I have a few of them but you could also clean them in between with like a towel or a little bit of brush cleaner if you want to and the reason why I like this brush for lips is it just sort of like blurs out the color a little bit more and it makes it look more like a stain and then he also came out with a lip liner and I'm going to just apply the lip liner on top. 
all right you guys i hope that you like this look and i you know just want to mention really quickly that i love you know using products that are created by makeup artists or professionals because i think that we just you know understand you know what goes into a product and uh, how a product should feel and look like and uh, let me know what your favorite makeup artist brands are and uh, let me know what you think about this look in the comments below and maybe also give me some new ideas of what kind of video you would like to see next and i see you in the next video bye